Well, Sean, tough defeat in the end, but, you know, playing one of the top teams in the league today, how proud are you of, of everyone's efforts to make it as close as it was? No, massively proud, as you said. Obviously, it was always going to be a tough game against London City. They are where they are for a reason, and we knew going into the game it was going to be tough, but I think we more than matched them today. We showed our qualities, and I think game by game you've seen that, but today I think it really came out. We showed both sides the physicality that we have, but also the technical ability. We were a very good side. There were moments in the game where we should have probably capitalised on them, especially in transition. It's very evident the way that we want to play at the moment, playing out from the back. We're seeing that in terms of you playing with the centre-backs basically inside your own box. That's where it's starting from, but are you starting to see that you know, we are being able to play from back to front now and those patterns of play, they're, they're really coming together in how we are playing right the way through from you all the way up to Jackie. Yeah, definitely. And I think with the way we want to play, everyone has to be comfortable on the ball, especially myself. Um, but I have trust in the girls around me. They make, they make the angles and make the, my decision making a lot easier for me. Um, and it's just for us being able to play both ways. So being able to play out from the back, but also recognising we might probably need to stretch the game and play a little bit longer at times. In terms of the goal set piece, was that a, a little bit? Dis it, it's been a, an issue in a couple of games. Was it after all that effort? A little bit disappointing. That's how the goal came in the end. Yeah, I think we more than matched them in the game, and to concede that goal at the time that we did, it's a bit of a sucker punch, and it kind of knocks the wind out here, and then we kind of start chasing the game, and then it becomes more stretched, and then because obviously the gaps open up, then they was able to get us at us a bit more because we we're chasing the game. But I think in those moments, we've just, I think it's reiterated to us, we've got to stay switched on. Um, but look, we've got to learn moving forward. We've got a game coming up next weekend and obviously we're just going to focus on that now moving forward. Pleased with your own performances at the moment. I mean, we joked about it after Blackburn, you probably made the best triple save that, that, <laughs> that we've seen and it ended in a goal for them. But today as well, you know, a couple of really good saves at the end, which, which stopped it going more than 1-0, which, which probably would have been unfair. Yeah, I can be as pleased as I am with my own performance, but collectively I'd, I'd rather play terrible and, and get the three points. But at the end of the day, as long as I try and do my job the best I can, obviously we j it just helps the team and that's all I'm here to do is just try and help the girls and then they can do the, the other stuff. Just said to Ash, obviously it's another big game next week down at Portsmouth. Obviously they're the team below us at the moment. Everyone obviously is a little bit deflated at the moment, obviously with the nature of that late defeat, but... When you come back in on Tuesday and look at it, like how many positives will you take away from this that you can take into next weekend? I think for us it'll be the same reaction of like when we played Birmingham. Obviously that was a narrow defeat. We more than matched them. We went on after that and obviously beat Blackburn. And I think for us it's just taken the positives, which because there are a lot of positives in that game, we can't get too deflated by it. Because at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the day, sorry, there's another game coming right around the corner and it's a game that we need to take points from.